Hi, my name is Christine. I'm a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And uh, tonight I want to show you a really fun technique um, with the using the Corner Bouquet stamp set. So the Corner Bouquet stamp set is part of the um, celebration items, uh, which is free with Stampin' Up! until the end of February with a purchase of $60 or more. So the, um, the stamp set features a very large bouquet and a smaller one and they're designed to go in the corner of a card and there's a couple of extra little elements here. So um, there's a few different ways to use this stamp set but I saw one that just stunned me and I decided to give it a try and I love the effect so I wanted to share it with you. So I'm using my Stampin' Write markers to color the stamp. So Stampin' Up! Marker, Stampin' Write markers sorry, are um, the same type of ink as what's in our um, ink pads. So it's water-based, um, which is really fun because you can also um, re-ink these markers. Um, I learned this just recently and was, was kind of sad because I actually threw one out a while back um, because it was out of ink and I thought it was done, but it turns out I could have just simply re-inked it. So I've, um, I've done another really short video on how to do that which I'll be posting shortly. Um, so I'm just coloring my stamp basically. So I'm using, um, if you're not familiar with these markers, I am using the In Color Stamp and Write markers. So it's a collection of five In Colors from 2019 to 2021. So that means these will be retiring this year. Um, and they'll be introducing new in colors. Um, that'll be in May, I believe. Um, the Stampin' Write markers are sold in um, the in color packs of five or by color, um, color family. So that's a collection of 10. Or you can purchase a giant pack of them. Um, the packs of 10 are $40, I believe. I've just put I've just put the brights on my wish list um, after using them. I haven't, I've had these for a while, but just haven't used them. And uh, after playing with them last night, I was like, oh my gosh, so much fun and so many possibilities. So a little bit non-traditional, I'm using this teal color to do the stems. And I'm just not coloring the flowers. Um, the stamp is kind of cool because it can be used as kind of a background. I'll, I'll show you a couple of examples of, of other stuff I've done with it. Um, or it can be used this way um, just to add color where you want it. And uh, so I'm just, I'm just coloring the whole stamp if you'll bear with me. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a really good week. Um, it's already Wednesday, I can't believe it. I just, just learned that our kids will be doing virtual learning for another week. I'm like, no. It's actually working out not too bad for us. But I know it's really tough for some folks. So this is the Rococo Rose, and I'm accidentally picking up a little bit of the blue with it, but that's that's okay. And then I'm going to go in with the purple here. The purple posy. Just a nice kind of delicate color. And uh, so I'm just going in. If I pick up a little bit of the blue, that's okay. It just adds a little bit more interest. I don't want to leave blank spots is my big thing. So that's why if I pick up a little bit of the other color, it just blends. It's okay. Um, did I do these already? I did. Try not to go over the ones I did in the Rococo Rose. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got five colors to play with here. I'll add a little bit of blue as well. So you just color up your stamp. And then we will put that down. There's one little trick to activate the ink because as you can see, I've been 
doing this for a few minutes now, so what I started with is quite dry. I obviously don't want to go over it all again. Um, so we're just going to activate it with our breath, actually. Which sounds a bit strange, but it works. Now, did I get them all? Don't want to leave any uncolored flowers. I think I'm good. So I've just got a piece of um, Whisper White, which I've cut to three and a quarter by four and three quarters. No, three and a half by four and three quarters. So I'm just going to breathe on my stamp. Bear with me here. It's a rather large stamp to do this with, but it works. I'm just going to press that down. And we will have a multicolored image, which is so much fun. And there we go. Do you see that? So I've got a blend of all, um, all five of the in colors on the different flowers. So I'll just set that aside. I'll clean it later and let's make a card with it. So I'm going to pull in my pretty peacock stamp pad. Um, I could use my marker to do my sentiment, but I'm going to use my stamp pad. And I'm using the Dragonfly Garden sentiment. Um, thank you for your kindness. Lightly tap that in my ink. And I'm going to stamp up here. So that's that. And I'll clean that up after as well. So that's it for our ink. Um, to add a little more interest to the card, I'm going to pull in the Dragonfly Punch. So the Dragonfly Garden and the Dragonfly Punch are sold as a bundle. So that means they're 10% off the regular price. And they're part of the um, the new spring spring mini catalog, which is just gorgeous. There's so many options with this stamp set, but there's no words on it, so you've got to kind of come up with those. So we've got three little dragonflies here. Um, excuse the reach. I'm just going to use my um, glue dots to put those down. Just picking up my little dragonfly, centering it on the dot, and there we go. So I actually did miss a flower, I can see. So I'm going to put a dragonfly there. And no one will be any the wiser. I just love working with this purple posy color too, it's such a pretty one. I'm going to miss it. Excited to show you the rest of the cards I made with this too. It's really quite a cool effect. There we go. Yeah. I'll put him up here. There we go. So I'm just going to quickly build a card with this. Um, I've got a sheet of Whisper White thick. Oh, I don't know if I finished telling you that. So Whisper White um, is no longer. It is now called Basic White. Um, the company that was making our Whisper White went out of business, a COVID casualty. Um, so Stampin' Up! has partnered with a different company and they're now offering Basic White. So it's the exact same quality of product, exact same price. Um, I haven't had a chance to play with the Basic White yet. I'm told it's just a shade brighter than the Whisper White. But it's apparently really nice to work with. So I will put it to use in another video and uh, let you guys know what I think of it. But I've heard really good reviews from other demonstrators. Um, so I'm using our Purple Posy um, cardstock here that I've cut down and I've embossed it with the um, Ornate Flower um, embossing folder. It's just so pretty. And then I'm going to put um, dimensionals on the back of this and just put it on top. So it's a really simple card. Um, this technique takes a little bit longer than regular stamping, but the effect is just so awesome to be able to pull in those different colors. So I hope you like it. I'm, uh, I watch videos and I, 
you know, look at the photos of different products on Facebook and on Pinterest and I latch on to an idea and I just have to try it out and see what I can do with it. So this is, this is where I ended up. Um, incidentally, I am doing a class on February 11th using the Dragonfly um, Garden um, Bundle. So if you're interested in doing that class, please reach out to me. It's going to be really fun. We're going to be using various products from the, um, the Dandy Garden Suite, which includes the Dragonfly Bundle. So there's this gorgeous paper, there's ribbon, there's... Um, these really cute little ladybugs. So that's our card. Just gonna fold that up so you can see it. So I'm just using my bone folder to make a clean fold here. I've already scored my paper before we started. So this is our corner corner bouquet card with uh, the dragonfly garden um, I made another one earlier so this is the exact same technique on the flowers um, same embossing folder which is the ornate garden um, and for the gems here these are the butterfly gems in the in colors in the annual catalog which is so cute um, and the sentiment comes from comes from so I actually wrote these down so I'd remember the berry blessing stamp set which is another one of the celebration items um, these are cards that I made with the corner bouquet just using black ink on the um, Oso Ombre paper, which is actually um, four different colors. So I've used it in the Granny Apple Green here and the, um, I think this is Blackberry Bliss, and just with black ink. So it looks really nice as a kind of just a, a nice um, dark image with black. So it makes more of a silhouette. And a couple more cards I made using the coloring technique. Um, I've got, this is another one of the celebration sets. It's um, Approaching Perfection. So there's this really cute happy birthday stamp. Um, these, I did not do different colors, but I used the same technique to do the candles. And these splotches on the back are actually the blueberry from the uh, Berry Blessings stamp set, which is really fun. And then I've got this other one that I made with the um, Wishing You the Happiest of Birthdays. So that's from the Happiest Birthdays stamp set in the annual catalog. I used my balloon punch and the Oso oh Ombre paper just to punch out some balloons and add a bit more interest. And this paper back here is the um, Paper Blossoms Designer Series paper, which is another one of the free offerings with Celebration. Um, so for every $60 you spend, you get to choose one of these papers or stamp set. Um, and yeah, I cut it out with the, the Stitch So Sweetly dies, and I embossed this uh, designer series paper as well with the um, Tasteful Textures embossing folder, just to add a little bit more oomph to it. So I hope you like these. I hope you like the technique and that you'll give it a try. They're it's tons of fun. And if you need to put in an order for any of the products that I've showed you tonight, just please reach out to me and I will... Uh, get you set up with the link or um, I can put the order in for you. It might save you some shipping. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.